Good morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever and whenever you are. Dice Roll here, and we are back in Iowa Plains. Uh, we're in the second half of September, and we uh, we got ourselves quite a little chunk of change there, and that's because we did a lot of work for some of our fellow farmers. We really got out there and after it, uh, helping with some big harvests on some uh, parsnips and what have you. We can actually go ahead and take a quick look here at the, uh, the financial ledger. And you could see uh, the beginning of September, we ended up making ourselves uh, about 100K. And back in August, we made about 80K. Uh, and that was a lot of contract income, uh, doing pretty good contract income wise. So we have our field, field nine, I believe. No, is it? Yeah, it's field nine is completely. Uh, Cover cropped right now with oil seed radish. We wanted to get some wheat planted. We actually don't have a planter for wheat. So we need to go ahead and spend some of that hard earned money, which is why we were out there grinding uh, to buy ourselves a planter. And I already got one in mind that I would like to get. Um, well, it's a cedar, rather. A cedar, not a planter. Oh, somebody's going to be like, oh, there are things there, farmer food. I doubt that's the case. But, um, what we're looking at here is we're looking at getting this horse right here. It's going to be quite expensive for us to pick up. So I'm probably going to have to also pick up another contracting gig. Uh, but this has got 12 meter working width on it. Uh, I'll be able to plant pretty much anything that I'm going to want to plant. And it is direct drill seeding. So that's going to give us um, bonuses for our no-till planting we've got going on. So this is going to be... Kind of expensive, kind of expensive. I think what I might do uh, is split the difference on this. I think what I'm going to do is take out a uh, $60,000 loan, and then we'll buy this and we'll kind of pay on that loan. I know we've got a, a couple of loans out now, but we're doing okay on getting that stuff paid back. Uh, we don't have too much more left to pay off. so. Matter of fact, if I could, uh, um, we're just gonna go ahead and take out our loan for uh for sixty, make it sixty two, sixty two thousand, and we will pay that back. I'm gonna say, then we'll pay that back within thirty six months. That's not too bad. Get that paid off quicker. Um, so now we're spending roughly 10k a month, a little 9k, but that's fine. Uh, we'll go ahead, we'll pick that bad boy up. Uh, this is gonna be awesome. So that's not the right one. I'm glad that I stopped and looked. Yeah, it's this Avatar 12.25 SD. Um, so I think we'll leave it standard. Increase amount that it can hold. You know, I think that that's fine. I think that's a, that's that's a okay amount. I'm not going to worry about using fertilizer in it either. I do have a little bit of fertilizer in the farm, so maybe I will grab some. Um, but just here at the base, we're just going to go ahead and buy the base. Uh, we'll head up there in our big John Deere, and we will get things going. Actually, while I'm thinking about it, uh, we'll go ahead and order ourselves a bag of seed. Uh, we'll make it two bags. Go ahead and order a couple bags of seed up there. Um, actually, did I install that? Uh, I don't. Oh yeah, the check. Oh no, I didn't. Yeah. Okay, never mind. I'm confused. <laughs> okay, no, there's a fun little mod that I have. Uh, that I was messing around with. I, I need to install it on here. Uh, it's a it's a neat little mod that basically it just adds uh, different textures of uh, bags of seed so that it'll say like, you know, corn or soy or, you know, whatever on it. <laughs> and uh, I like the way that it looks. It just adds a little bit more version. I've been I've been checking out a few other mods, but anyway, let's kind of get back into the gaming headspace. It looks like I do have some eggs I need to get scheduled for pickup as well as um, my goods for the farmer's market. And I'm pretty sure I have a fair amount of, let's go ahead and check the 
PDA. We'll take a look at the sensor. Um, yeah, we have a little bit of milk that could get picked up, a little bit. I'm not too terribly worried about that. We'll let it go a little bit longer. Uh, but we're going to head into town. We're going to pick this bad boy up. Up with some seed. Oh, my. What is going on with my turning? Um, we'll get it loaded up with some seed. We'll get back out here onto field nine, and we will start getting that sucker planted out. So I will catch up with you guys here shortly. Okay, so far so good. Uh, we grabbed the last little bit of uh, fertilizer off of our field, or not fertilizer off of our field, but we grabbed the last little bit of fertilizer out of the barn. Uh, but we're eating through that relatively quickly. We only had a thousand liters, so uh, yeah. But uh, yeah, we're getting this uh, planted. We're actually doing really good on seed. I ooh, actually, I don't think I reset the field uh i guess real quick stop and check check our uh our pda our pda here for data um oh no we did reset oh look at that haha <laughs> um so so far we spent 70 dollars in seeds but a vehicle maintenance of fuel and mineral fertilizer so uh yeah so we'll probably come back through here uh spread a little bit of manure i know that we're not in the ph value range that it wants us to be in which is fine that's it's fine we'll be okay uh but yeah i'm just trying to be careful i did run over a small segment of my carrots down in my uh my carrots on field 10 and uh, i'm pretty sure that they got demolished so i'm trying to be a little more careful with this are we going to be? Yeah. Okay. That's fine. I'll just have it just doing stuff out of the right side here, not the left. Uh, but we're definitely, we're going to run out of, uh, we're going to run out of mineral fertilizer, which is fine. We have uh, plenty of manure, plenty of slurry. We can come back out, hit the field with that. It'll be a okay. Uh, we'll be able to make sure that we're within good uh, reference range values when it comes to our, uh, our, delicious nitrogen levels <laughs> and what have you honestly it probably wouldn't be a bad idea just to come fling manure out here i'm not gonna need it i did cut myself quite a headland up ahead here uh between fields nine and ten just because honestly i'm still really uh debating about connecting the two fields and having this just become one massive field uh, I would like to do that. I can get that other one planted in uh, eat two, but not in time for them to both be in sync. So that's fine though. That's okay. Uh, I'm gonna ride this down. I do need to get that little tiny snippet there. Uh, come on. Can I get it? Can I send anything else up? Yes. Okay. All right. Well, yeah, we're going to just go ahead, get this field done up, and then I'm going to be coming back and hitting the field if the, uh, with either slurry or manure. I'm not sure which yet. I should be able to just use one method or the other. I'll probably try to use the slurry distributor just because, well, actually, no, because if I use the manure, that'll also bring up the pH value as well. So maybe spreading manure is going to be in my best interest, not only to raise my nitrogen levels, but also my pH value. I think manure. We're going to come fling manure on the field. <laughs> That's going to be it. So we'll should be running out of our mineral fertilizer here before the, uh, before the end of this pass. But yeah, we'll just uh, we'll go ahead, time lapse the rest of this bit here, and uh, then I'll go. Grab the manure sprayer. Ooh, we're going to have rain soon, so I'll definitely want to get that. Uh, I don't know. The manure might get washed out. I might have to wait another day to come through and hit it with manure. Hmm. Because I want to have it have some time to get into the soil. It probably would hurt for me to get a, uh, to get a roller and be able to roll the field, because if I can spray manure and then use a roller to roll all the manure in, that would probably work out in my advantage. 
Hmm. All right, uh, I've got some things to ponder, so we'll do some pondering, and I'll get back with you guys on what I've decided. Okay, so we got the field finished up here, and we actually did go ahead and pick up a here. We have Dalbo Power Roll, and so we got the field nice and compacted in. It's just going to give us a little more bonus, but head <clears throat> make our way back toward farm to go ahead and top up food with the cattle because. Now that our herd is basically doubled in size, they are going through uh, nearly, at this point, uh, the calves are still growing, but we're going through about 12 cubic meters of feed per month. And so at this rate, they are running a little bit low. We need to go ahead and fix that real quick. <clears throat> but yeah, uh, things are going good on the farm. I, well, actually, we're starting to run out of space for putting places. Uh, that's the real issue, as we're starting to run a little bit low, but equipment, that's fine, we'll get it figured out, maybe I just needed to read how I'm placing things around the farm, like I know that this is a field roller, but I might need to go put this over by our grass roller, it'll be easy to tell the two of them apart though, different colors, but yeah, we need to head that feed wagon going for the cattle. I also been thinking about changing up my uh, my setup for for my farm uh, my farmers market goods like you know, setup that I have going for my veggie in our greenhouse. All right, I thought I was better than I thought I lined up a little. I pair. <laughs> we'll get this in here. All right, so, but yeah, I got to go ahead and feed cows. 
errands and stuff to run. See what we get up to next week, or not next week, uh, next month. We'll be coming into October here soon. I need. Well, I could probably the month there. Yeah, you know what? Let's have a bail. The bail grabber for a reason. Uh, it's a little heavy, but that's there we go. Okay, so we need to grab ourselves a couple of bales that all set up for the cows. I think I'm probably gonna do batch. I think I'm gonna do two batches for them. That should have them tidied over for about three months much about making sure we feed them so i'll uh, go ahead and pull some bales out uh, tunnel here we will get to mix some tmr up for the cattle and i, I should probably grab them some mineral feed too okay uh, I'm gonna get some of this stuff done. I think what we'll do, this is just kind of mundane uh, chores here on the farm that you guys have seen a million times. I think what we'll do is we'll just kind of come back uh, later on when we have something new and exciting, potentially uh, picking up our header to get that corn uh, harvested. So I will see you guys uh, here in a little bit. Okay, so uh yeah, we have uh we have a bit of rain coming in, but that's fine. Uh we're just gonna go ahead and go ahead and get myself All right, we have a whole bunch of wrapped silage. We were able to get all of our uh, silage wrapped off of the field over here before before the rain started, which is great, super awesome. <laughs> uh, we have been we have been waiting, trying to get this second harvest here. You remember we did a we did a real big harvest of hay not too long ago, a couple months back, and we we let the fields. Let the fields go. How well the trees. So, uh, yeah. So the rain hit, and this is gonna basically be the last harvest of the season here. So I do need to kind of come back through and do a little bit more field work. Have you? But yeah, uh, this is pretty much all she wrote for us. We might be able to eke out one more small harvest, but uh, I think that we're good where we are. I don't really need to push the field. We've got more than enough supplies to take care of the cattle right now, so I don't really have to go super hard on the field and uh, try to try to you know scrape every last blade of grass out of here. So I think what we'll do is we'll just let the we'll let the field enjoy this nice rain. Probably come back through. Uh oh, yeah, we also I think we got 34 bales of silage off this field. So pretty pretty good about that. But yeah, I think what we're going to do is we'll just let the we'll let the field kind of, you know, sit and overwinter and everything. We'll come back and hit it next year. We like I said we we've, we've got we have more than enough surplus right now, and this rain is going to be so good for that freaking corn, man. Oh, I am excited. The corn has been growing absolutely beautifully. Uh, I think we picked a really good strain for the weather that we've had this year. Yeah, uh, we have got 
ton of this and we're gonna have to it looks like we're gonna have to make two trips yeah we're most definitely gonna have to make two trips this all uh taken care of fine actually oh yeah no we're gonna have to make two trips and to make two trips <laughs> there's no way i'm gonna be able to get all these bales in one i think that uh i don't think this part can hold a 30 could be wrong no, i don't think i'm wrong though pretty sure i'm i'm pretty sure i'm right yeah yeah we're going to come back for a few bales but that's fine that's uh that's just the way the cookie crumbles but other than that, not much else going on for the rest of the uh, rest of the year here, or not rest. Of the year. Man, you can tell that I have not had enough. Uh, I've not had enough coffee. My my thermos is still sitting in the sixty one fifty five. So <laughs> I should I should probably get at a little bit more of that. Uh, yeah, we we be probably about the, the last of the stuff we have going on before corn season, uh, before corn harvesting happens. So. We've taken care of the uh the chickens are all well taken care of the cattle are taken care of all the calves are looking good uh all of them nice and healthy healthy no losses and we did make a really good run in uh let me go ahead and drop this stuff off and we'll take a look at our financial ledger uh we did have a real good drop off uh this will pick up of uh our eggs and our milk and everything All right. So yeah, we don't have a whole lot going on. Um, and we are going to kind of get into our hole. Might actually, oh, are we full up here? Oh no, not quite. Not quite, okay. Whew. <laughs> I thought we were up. All right, uh, but yeah, we're corn, 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 corn. I'm looking for corn. Uh, let's go ahead and pop a look at our so we did pretty good this month uh we had 21k in milk and k in sold products eggs um harvest income harvest for a couple of our local local farmers here contracts so that uh we, we, did, we did take out a loan though the bottom line we're not looking that great for the month's earnings but honestly, we're doing good. We're doing okay. So, but okay, we're doing just fine on the farm. You're gonna have a nice, massive wheat harvest next year. That is gonna be serious. And yeah, look at that. Ag the last. But yeah, we're gonna let the field sit and it is gonna do just fine over the winter and be able to hit it next year. Everything is still looking really good on the field. All uh, the, actually the nitrogen's bad. We do need, oh, I guess we're gonna need to come back through and spread some manure. So maybe I do have a little bit of TLC I gotta give the field yet, huh? Maybe what I could do would be to come through, hit it with some manure, uh, maybe crimp the field. So okay, never mind. Maybe there there is a little bit of work left to be done, uh, which will be fine because I don't think I have anything going on in October when we're literally not going to be able to. I don't think we're going to be able to harvest corn until November. So uh, I have plenty of time to get some stuff done in the interim. But you know, it's just going to be general farm chores, nothing too crazy. So yeah, I think what we'll do is we will save. We will save our uh, our big our our our, our big uh, video vlog uh, extravaganza for when the corn comes, uh, because literally corn is the last thing that we need. Uh, we have to harvest the corn, and then 
so many other things fall into place. Uh, we got corn. That means we have everything we need to uh, get pigs started, which means finally after three years uh, of this, you know, almost, yeah, almost three years, uh, we will be, we'll be harvesting uh, everything we need in order to expand in territory that is mostly unknown to me. <laughs> is uh raising pigs uh handling uh live like cattle and chickens yeah but pigs uh pretty much brand new territory virgin territory so so yeah it's enough yammering i'm real good at doing the yammering uh we're gonna go ahead get this baby topped up on fuel uh get out there and take care of the field we actually might wait until the rain dies down uh, but yeah, I got to get out there and spread some, uh, spread some, some manure out on that field, get it all set to go and get it all prepared so it can be nice and lush next year. Oh yeah. All right. So I will, uh, I'll be back for you guys. It's going to be a moment for me. It's going to be a couple months. So we'll continue on from there and, uh, I'll see you shortly. Well, uh, guys, it's, uh, <laughs> it's October and, uh, the corn is ready to harvest. I guess I was, uh, I guess I was not as much of an optimist as I should have been, but, uh, field is ready. Uh, we just, just got back from, uh, the, from the John Deere dealership. Uh, Dave had this all ready to go for us. So, uh, we picked up our 627C. 627 corn header here for the x9 and have a little bit of rain on the docket for today hopefully it's real real quick light sprinkle uh i need this corn to be nice and dry for me to harvest i i can't be having it absolutely soaking wet but i mean just just look look at this look it's ready to harvest our yield potential is going to be just through the roof uh i am I'm so excited, so excited to get this corn harvested because this is the kickoff of everything. This is the kickoff of the of of the first corn harvest here in Iowa Plains. This is the kickoff of the 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 beginning of raising uh, raising pigs. It's there's so much hinged on today. So I'm hoping I got a few other chores to get done around farm. Uh, the moisture on the field was really good i'm really hoping it's just a quick light sprinkling if not we'll just let it uh let it kind of dry out air out throughout the day and then hit it um later in the week if we need to so but i'm really i'm i'm pretty certain that you know it's just going to be a quick sprinkling i think that they said that we have like less than uh like a point zero uh five inches of uh, estimated precipitation uh, I'm just really hoping, I mean, we should have plenty of bright sunshine later on today. But yeah, I, I'm super excited, I'm super stoked. This is what I've been waiting for. I've been waiting to do this field and figure out what we're gonna be looking at from it. Actually, if we take a look at our PDA and we take a look at just uh, general information about the field, see that right now, I mean, we spent manure, tons of slurry, fuel, um, I did screw up and uh, <laughs> I seeded this and then completely forgot, you know, see how much money I spent in seed, but I'm pretty sure I spent about five, uh, five full pallets. So roughly about $4,000 of seed on the field. But yeah, I'm uh, really excited to see what we end up getting harvest wise off of this. So. So we're about four, four, we'll say we'll round it up to 5k. We're 5k in the hole on the field. Uh, and honestly, a lot of that was thanks in due part for us having a ton of manure and a ton of slurry in order to get the fertilization up. So, uh, but yeah, we're going to wait for the rain to, to, to hopefully pass or not even come at all. And, uh, we'll be hitting the field. We'll be getting this, uh, this show on the road, baby. This, this is corn. It's time. It's time for corn it's it's uh it's got the juice um it's a, it's a big lump of knobs and soon it is going to be uh in our in our silos here getting dried and uh, going to be fed pigs so 
I will see you guys when the action starts. Okay, so it was exactly how we thought it was going to be. Uh, actually, it was even less rain. It rained for probably about, uh, probably about 12 minutes and then stopped and cleared up. Unfortunately, the sun is just hazed out for... For the time being, but uh, we got a little bit of a read on the crop moisture. Everything is fine. We're well within tolerances to get out here and start harvesting. So there ain't nothing to it. But to do it, go ahead and get our threshing turned on here. And this is it. This is the going to be our first little uh, headland pass of getting some corn. I'm going to run down this part of the field, turn myself around, run back, and then kind of cut uh in a clockwise fashion so that it's a little bit easier for me to offload but yeah this is this is pretty exciting so get the choppers on here and let's let's see let's just get at it oh yeah look at that oh yeah oh we're missing a little bit there on the edge that's fine yeah, we are going to be getting some serious straw out of this field. Uh, I decided we we're going to go ahead and get this uh, this stock straw. And that's just, you know, something to run in. Like I said, we have enough money right now that uh, we'll, we'll be good for like the next 10 to 11 months as we continue to pay things off. But I do want to try to pay off a couple of our loans a little bit quicker. And just look at this. Oh, man, we have an even. This is just a short pass, the short pass. And we are going to, uh, we're gonna, wow. Oh, wow, wow. Short pass and we are almost 30% capacity of our combine here. All right, we're gonna be over 30% capacity. Wow. Okay. Uh, hedge your numbers now. Go ahead and pause and let me know what you think we're going to be at. That was a short pass. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and stop that off there. Uh, it's already 5K. I'm going to say that we're going to get 300,000. That is my guess. That is my guess. Uh, I think 300K. What we see off the going to be absolutely wild. I have to be purpose. I don't want to be hitting the other fuel. So uh, I'm just going to go ahead and time lapse some of this. Uh, we're not going to, you know, obviously I don't want to burn out the drone battery. We have a lot to do, but go ahead and time lapse out some of this. And this is going to be wild. Absolutely wild.
All right, guys, go ahead and uh, <laughs> and hedge your bets. How much do you think that we got out of this field? See, we've been out here for quite a while. Uh, it's kind of late at night. Well, not really. Game time. It just looks so dark. I don't understand why this game gets so dark at like. Well, I guess it is October, and I guess about now it's dark at six o'clock. But but yeah, got a ton of corn. Well, I mean multiple tons, really. Badoom tish. <laughs> got uh, we got a lot of corn. We have a lot of work. Come come later on this month we have there's so much straw for us to bail up it is gonna be ridiculous oh boy <laughs> yeah there's uh all right a little bit here and be able to go ahead and dump oh boy yeah there's gonna be so much straw. I guess that's the next bet. Um, is how many bales of straw do you think I'm gonna get out of this field? So to put that into perspective, when I bale uh our grass field over there, which is fairly small, uh, we generally get 34 to 36 bales, depending on on how well the uh the field has been fertilized. So. But yeah, yeah, this has been this has been a crazy, uh, crazy first harvest of corn. Uh, remember how much did I guesstimate? I think I guesstimated close to like, I think I said three hundred, three hundred thousand. Might have been a little ambitious. All right, we're gonna go make our way to the truck and dump. Yeah, this corn header did phenomenally. Didn't have any issues, no corn got stuck, none of the, nothing, you know, nothing crappy happened with it. So I'm pretty happy for a very first harvest with it. But yeah, I'm guesstimating that we're gonna get about 80 straw bales off this field. I think that's a pretty fair assessment. There's a lot of work gonna need to get done for this field. If I wanna do corn again and let it overwinter, uh, I'm gonna have to come through here, pull up all the straw, and then I'm gonna need, I think I wanna get a mulcher so I can mulch all these stocks and stuff back down in. I'm not entirely sure how I wanna go about it. I know that I'm gonna probably need I need to definitely come through and work on the pH, so we're gonna have to go get a ton of lime. Oh, there's gonna be a lot of work to do on the field for the rest of the month, to get it prepped for winter time. All right. Go ahead, and pull this guy off the field for now. We're gonna to need to do some cleaning and general maintenance, so I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna put it away for the night. Go ahead and get everybody closed up here. All right. Dark, run back here and grab this semi truck. Look at all these docks and everything be great to mulch all these back in yeah the ph on this field definitely needs to be worked on for sure so i think what we'll probably do is we'll harvest all of our or we'll not harvest we'll bale all of our straw then we'll come back through lime we'll mulch and we'll do I want a mulcher? Do I just want a lime and then 
I might lime it and then disc it while I plant oilseed radish for over winter. I think that'll be, I think, I think disking it instead. So, all right, here's our last load of corn. And then we also have to get things figured out with pigs and all that other stuff. So let's dump our last load of corn in and then we will take a look at the final tally. We still did really good. Not as crazy as I thought it was gonna be, but really good still. All right, we are dumped. Check the A, the sensors and the tank and corn. We 214,000 liters. 214,000 liters. So that's not bad. Corn peaks in June at 880. There's some money in there. Uh, potatoes in January. So yeah, we're going to have some, we have plenty of crops to kind of sell some crops off. Uh, but still enough to keep here on the farm. So that's not bad. And I think preemptively, what I'm going to go ahead and load a little bit of corn back into here. We'll run about, about 20, 20 uh, cubic meters of corn. Run that over to the pig barn, dump that off, and then come back and grab the same amount of potatoes. And I've already talked to Joel down at the uh, down there at the animal uh, the animal husbandry, and he says they got some piggies in for me. So they've been holding them there since uh, last month. A little expensive. Uh, to have him, you know, take care of, but that's fine. Go ahead and dump this off here. Corn. Go back for potatoes, and then a little bit later this month should have be able to get the transport of the pigs here to the farm. All right. All right, uh, I'm gonna grab some potatoes, put those in, and then we be back. Uh, we'll be back later on here in the week when there's sunlight out. How about that? I think that sounds pretty good. Um, plus, the drone battery needs a charge. So, <laughs> all right, guys, I will see you here in a second. Okay, we're out here nice and early on the field, picking up all this straw. We had to make sure everything was good and dry. Biz, uh, we've had nothing but nice sunshiny weather. And uh, I forgot that we actually can bale straw denser than we do when we file it. So I think I'm gonna go back on saying 80 bales and I'm gonna say 65 bales. I think that sounds a little more. I already reset the bale counter. Uh, we're at two bales on the field so far. So, <laughs> oh boy, this is gonna be a long day. Gonna be a lot of time spent baling. <laughs> but that's fine, that's okay. All right. Uh, I'll time lapse some of this, but uh, you know, in the sake of uh, keeping your sanity, whereas I will have to sacrifice mine, <laughs> uh, I'm not going to time lapse the whole field. All right, we'll just uh, we'll get to it. Nothing to it but to do it.
Okay, so I might have been a little optimistic yet again on uh, crunching the numbers. Uh, I just, I keep forgetting just like how much more massive the straw bales are, even though they're baled at the same size, just the density of them. Um, so like uh, three of these straw bales, is like four uh, hay bales worth of like the same, same amount of volume. So, uh, so we didn't quite get to 60. <laughs> that, uh, that, that number didn't happen. But we are at 36, which is still quite a lot. Quite a lot. And we'll probably get 37 out of this field. And I will. Oh, uh, what the hell? Get 37 out of this. And I think I'll just take the rest of this uh, straw that's on the field, probably just grind it into. I come through to do all the mulching, but I think this is pretty good. I think we're pretty covered for this episode. There's just gonna be a lot of field prep that I'm gonna have to get done, but I just kind of wanted to, you know, I was excited for first corn, so uh, we got a lot of these bales to pick up now. I'm gonna go ahead and cut the baler off, fold it up. And work our way over to here. <clears throat> we still have a lot of cleanup to do on the track, on the uh, the combine. And as you can see, we have our work cut out for us here. Uh, I did get in touch. We're going to have rain soon, so better get that lime down before uh, it starts raining, because I'm not going to be able to lime then. All right, yeah. Looks like I got a lot of stuff to get done. Uh, anyway, we're going to go ahead and make our way up here. We paid uh, Joel down from the, uh, down from the, why is this always, down from the animal husbandry, the livestock yard. And uh, he is gonna be bringing our 120 piglets up. We have 120 German land race piglets. Um, gonna be bringing them up here. And so next time we get back, uh, Next, next vlog that we're back, I will be able to show you guys all the piglets. But yeah, that's uh, I think that's about it for us for today. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I enjoy doing corn harvest, pretty awesome. And we have a ton of come throw up here. Our holding. So we have already got 36 straw in here, and now we're going to bring another 37 straw in here. And uh, that is going to be just any money. So, all right. Uh, but that's all we got going on for us today. I hope you guys enjoyed the content as usual. And uh, if this is not uh, your first video watching and you're not subscribed, then please go hit that subscribe button. It doesn't cost you anything, but it helps me out tremendously. We are trying to get to a thousand subscribers by the end of the year. We're a third of the way there, and I literally can't do it without you. I hope that you guys enjoyed this. I hope to catch you next time, and uh, I hope I'm looking forward to see who's close on uh, on the estimate. So don't cheat. Be honest. Uh, but yeah, I hope you have a good morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever and whenever you are. This is Fudge Dice Roll, and I am signing off.